Hey guys, so today I wanted to do something a bit different, and that being talk about a different sort of show, and it is the farthest thing from talking about what I do, <clears throat> that being, you know, trains with faces, <laughs> okay, <coughs> yeah, I'm talking about something much more different than trains with faces. And if you're wondering why I'm speaking in a British accent, it's because this video is different. So I thought, well, if it's different, I might as well speak in a different sort of accent. And I don't care if you don't like this video it, because it's different. I just don't care, honestly. It's, just, it's my channel, so I can do whatever the flying fuck I want. Okay. So... What is the show I am talking about today? The show that I'm going to be talking about today is a show that's been around since 2020. So not really that long. It's about a teenage girl getting trapped in a different sort of dimension. Not really a dimension, like a realm or some shit. I don't fucking know. That show in question that's probably what is the show the show I'm talking about today is the owl house what okay I do realize not a lot of people may know this show because not a lot of people have watched it and for those of you who haven't watched it I feel bad for you because it's such a good show and I've met some people that don't even like it. Like my cousins. I told them I'm not related to them. And some people who just don't like it. That I'm friends with. Uh, I just I just can't be friends with them. So. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Let's talk about the ever famous episode of the show. And the main plot of the Owl House is, again, a teenage girl, a teenage Mexican girl called Luz Noceda, getting trapped in a demon realm with two companions called e Edelin Clothon, also known as Ida, and King, whose last name was changed to Clothon. So the episode is Enchanting Grom Fright. Okay, this is everyone's favorite episode. So the episode starts off with Luz trying to make a new glyph. Which, since she's a human, she can't make her own magic. Like, she has to draw out glyphs on paper to make magic. And what do you know? It works. And, yes, the thing behind her is King. He thinks himself as the King of Demons. He's watching cat videos and all that. Yeah. Telling Luce, oh shit, the earth is flat. Luce is like, okay, f fuck that theory. And then her mom texts her saying, oh, how's camp today? And she's like, uh, uh fuck, 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 uh, all right, you know what? Boom. King's just an idiot and says, ooh, a severed hand. Great response, bitch. Now give me that fucking shit. Then weird old fucking Hootie, who is the Owl House himself, barfs up books, saying, Mmm, time to fill your mind with knowledge. And then their friends are like, Please, just go. I don't want to be around this thing anymore. What? Now, Luce says, Bye. I don't want to see you again, biatch. And King decides, decides to just chase his tail because he saw a video about it. Yeah, King is probably- this is probably the best King has gotten in the episode. So, uh, yeah, they talk about what Grom is. It's like, prom a little bit, but way more different. Uh, Amity is cho chosen to be Grom Queen. And she's like, oh fuck, oh shit. Uh, uh, bye! Luce discovers what Grom is. Who stuffy knows, sorry. By going into the gymnasium and looking and pressing a button, which opens a pit under Hexide, which is the school they go to in the show. Amity tells her everything and why she doesn't want to be Grom Queen. 
Because Grom is way different, like I just said. Grom is urban legend, which means it's a monster under the school that students have to fight every year. It's held. There's a dance party after afterwards if Grom is defeated. If Grom is not defeated, it'll be loose on Bonesboro. So, Ida and King are getting ready to chaperone Grom, and yeah. So, yeah. That night, Ida says, okay, Luce, you're too fragile, so Luce goes to a walk in the woods. Here's a twig and beats the fuck out of Amity. Yeah, real smooth there, bitch! Now we get the, hey, look, I'm an otter with a dark side. Okay, I didn't, I didn't really like that scene, to be honest. Yeah, it's like, I'm an otter with a dark side. Then we cut back to the training, and you know, yeah, we go to the training, all that, and I just realized that I put in the fucking wrong images, I should have put in the house. <laughs> so Luz just straight up lies to them, saying her biggest fear is Ida, saying she's too fragile to be Grom Queen. Then we're faced with the exact scene that Luz is supposedly afraid of. Yeah, she's not really afraid of that. We'll get to her fear later. Okay, so this thing is supposed to be the disco ball. And he's always like, <sighs> arms getting down. He's about to throw up because he's spinning in circles. So, Ida's concerns, like, say, making fun of Luz, turn into concerns about her. Later, before Grom starts, we get an actually really heartwarming scene. That scene being this. This is where Luce is talking to Amity. This is a really good scene. Then, it's like, okay, uh, can our Grom Queen come up here and at least start fighting? And... Of course, we get to talk about Principal Bump, who is the school's principal, so yeah. So, Luce goes up to fight Grom. She's, she, she's real confident about this. Safi knows. Okay. She, she gets, her weapons, gets her weapon of choice and decides to fight them. Now, what you're about to see will scar you for life. Human souls in cat bodies. <laughs> okay, Luz confronts her biggest fears and kills those things. Thank God, I hate looking at those. She, uh, okay, it lo looks like she just shit her pants. <laughs> Owl House out of context. Or maybe Owl House on crack, I don't fucking know. I'll link those videos in the description. So she beats the fuck out of those cats and all that. Yeah, it was, it probably, probably scarred her for life too. And King, who is, like, he says he's the king of demons, but he's not really. We'll get into an episode like that later. When Luce is fighting Grom itself, it's revealed what her fear is. Grom, which is that thing right there, reads Luce's mind and finds out her biggest fear. Her biggest fear is no it's not the door her biggest fear is her mom finding out that she pretty much said uh yeah i'm at camp turns out she's not she's like loose what is this horrible place have you been lying to me you bit and yeah and then everything escalates like look at this that's fucking horrifying like what the fuck Jesus Christ. Gus, the black kid right there, okay, that was very racist, gives King a little bit of a pep talk because he ran off the stage in stage fright. So everyone goes off to see the rest of the fight. All that, uh, yeah, Pr Pr Principal Bump just does, just does not care. Amity and, Amity and Ida are very worried for Luce. Hoping she's okay. And, um, not really. 
she's literally running for her life, about to jump into the boiling sea. Jesus Christ. Yeah, as you see in this image right here, Luce is going to fucking die. Then we get revealed what Amity's biggest fear is. And, God, it makes so much sense. Her biggest fear is getting rejected by who you ask I'll get to that in a little bit but her note gets torn apart and yeah yeah ev everything's just disappointing for her she thinks she's a failure some shit I don't fucking know then Lou says hey wh what if I what if I'm what if I'm you know what if I go to ground with you? Which is not what really what Luce wanted, but yeah, it, it happens and seems kind of gay, but who cares? We'll get into gay a little bit. And yeah, everything just starts to escalate from there. They just sort of blow Grom up. With literally the coolest thing I've ever seen. By using glyphs and magic, they literally blow up Grom in the coolest shot I have ever seen. I'm using images, so fuck you. So yeah, after all that, it's revealed what who Amity wanted to ask out. And, well, shit, her, her dream came true. She I wanted to ask Luce to Grom, because, you know, she's gay. And yeah, her dream was fulfilled. Then we get lots of sweet moments between the characters. Turns out the people that have, have Hex, I just watched the entire damn thing. And yeah... Luce tells her mom how it's going. It's going good. She says it's going good. Then we get possibly the sweetest moments in the entirety of the episode. God, I love this scene. But we also get revealed that someone has been writing to Luce. This is mom. Someone is posing as her. Imposter! Then we get this little cute ass scene of Grom memories showing us pictures of all sorts of Hexide students during Grom. I love this one with Basha right here. God, that's so cool. Then we get Skara, and I don't know who the hell that guy is right there. And then we get Basha, those guys, and Mytholomew. Basha is the three-eyed one. Yeah, like I said, three-eyed one. Just f fuck her. She's a bitch. Then we get Luce, you know, being her retarded self. She's kind of an idiot. Then she sees all of her friends, like, Hey, the fuck are you doing over there? Get over here, you! Yeah, this is an overall a good episode. So what do you th think of this episode? I reviewed the entire thing. So what do you think? If you like what I described, Maybe you should subscribe <laughs> and like this video if you want to see more Owl House content. Thank you for watching. This has been the Yellow Mess Jester signing off. Goodbye, guys. Oh, wait, shit. Oh, wait, shit. I forgot to say. This has been the Yellow Mess Jester slash Henry the Green Engine Productions signing off. Thank you guys for watching. Time to listen to some Thomas music.